Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Will from WC Review. Just moving my camera around, getting set. Uh, really, just uh, just sitting around and uh, and BSing. I uh, I have a couple of new acquisitions that I want to share with everyone, and I want some opinions too because I'm going to be doing some some stuff. But um, I'm going to be doing some stuff. I'm going to be going on to the Medford, what's called the Legacy Program, and I wanted your opinion. Here's this is my uh, my Praetorian tie that I got from my man Bob Uticek. Uh, if you happen to see his name <clears throat> in the uh, the Medford sites or anywhere on the Facebook stuff, his name is Robert Uticek, and he is an awesome guy, and I vouch for him a thousand times over. We've done several deals together, and one has been better than the next. With that said, this was our first um, our first deal together. This was, you know, I bought this knife from him. Um, I saw it. I loved it. I, I mentioned it to him. He held the knife from me for like a month. And luckily enough, I was able to come up with the cash. So this is a Pred, um, a Praetorian tie, a Predford, a, a Medford Praetorian tie in 3V with faced and flamed, flamed hardware, um, tumbled lock side, and a Vulcan blade. Now, anyone who knows Vulcan blades, we know some of them are spectacular where you can see, you know, the, the earth and the flames in them. This one happens to be a little bit on the dull side. Uh, what I like about it, it's not a fingerprint magnet. It makes me more apt to use the knife because I'm not going to scuff or fuck anything up. However, um, I'll show you on another. In fact, I'll just do it right now. On this is this one's younger brother. The Praetorian T, this is a polished, tumbled blade, but it's not the thick mother like the Prey tie. I want this knife, excuse me, this knife to look like this. I want this blade on this knife. So I'm going to send it back to, um, not send it back, send it in to Medford and ask that they make this blade look like this blade. So what are your thoughts on that? Um, you see, they're a little bit different, but it, it was just a coincidence that Bob had the knife in this finish. And I had, I had just recently purchased this knife. They're both in 3V, which is my new favorite blade steel. Um, so that said, I'm, I'm going to send this in to have it, uh, polished and have the blade done. Um, here is another new acquisition. Again, Bob Uticek, another Praetorian tie. Um, this one, this thing is a 2017 knife. Look at the condition this thing is in. It's pristine. I don't think it's ever been used. Uh, it's never been cut. There's no scuffs on the blade. You can tell the age, A, by the, by the serial number and the, um, the certificate, but also by the, uh, snake bite, uh, pivots. The other ones are the six guns and you can just tell, but it is in 3V, um, and what I want to do with this one is I want to have this part of the handle made into the polished, uh, tumbled tie, the silver uh, version. And I think I'm going to keep the blade PVD and I'm going to make, I guess, reverse tuxedo is what Amy calls it. I think I'm going to make the hardware black PVD and... I'm either going to make this black PVD or I'm going to leave this as it is just to have a little bit of the original knife. But what a, what a beautiful knife this is. The action, it's, it's really glides nice and smooth. Uh, the other one is a little bit stiff, but hey, that's the fun uh, of having a Medford is breaking one in. And another new acquisition that I just got from my buddy Ryan Gonzalez is the Micro Praetorian. Uh, and I will tell you, when I first got this, I thought I was had made a mistake. It looks like a fucking keychain knife. It's very... I, I do have big hands, but it's very small. Um, it did grow on me, but I'm sorry. What they charge for these retail is... It, it doesn't compute in my brain. Um, $700 for this for this. Um, I don't care if it's made, you know, uh, out of Abe Lincoln's fucking bones. It's it's not a seven hundred dollar knife. Uh, I did not pay that for it. I got a really good deal on it, which is why I grabbed it. 
Uh, and it's growing on me. It, it really is uh, a great EDC. It, it's wonderful in the pocket. It's small, pops right open. It's made like all Medfords are, you know, like a brick shit house. Uh, however, um, it's, if you see my hand, it's quite small, um, which means there's less material, which means I don't think that the price should be what it is. But that's just, you know, that's just my opinion. You could let me know what you think on that. This one I'm keeping as it is. I like it. Um, I'm happy. And thank you very much, Ryan, for the knife. Uh, what else did I have? Um, oh, another Ryan knife. Uh, again, Ryan Gonzalez. Um, great guy. I got, uh, I, I saw um, Satu Dave had sent me his fighter flipper and I loved it. And Ryan just happened to have one handy. So uh, here it is. This is actually the one I really wanted to show you. This is a beautiful knife. The action is sweet. Uh, I actually did that. I mean, you'd think I was out doing a lot of stuff. I whittled the stick, and it just it scuffed the blade up like that, hence why that finish is going bye-bye. Um, I'm going to make... This is the one I wanted to do the reverse tuxedo on. I'm going to send this into the Legacy program. I want this all polished, um, tumbled uh, silver titanium. Uh, I want the blade, same polished silver titanium-like like this. I want this finish on this knife, and I want all of the hardware and everything else to be black PVD. I guess like this. Not like, this is black wash. This is not the DLC or PVD. Uh, I want their PVD co uh, coating, and I think that'll look hot. All, all silver with black hardware um, and, and pommel, black pommel. So, but what a knife. The, the Fighter Flipper, if you haven't handled one, it's it's a bruiser, but uh, it's awesome. 190 thousandths. Um, I'm not sure what the, uh, <clears throat> what is it, uh, three-eighths? I think, I think it's three-eighths, like the H models, uh, I believe, is the thickness on the handles. But also, um, a big knife, nice in the pocket, great action. Um, love it. I mean, I'm really becoming quite a Medford head. I, I, I'm... Anything I can find that's Medford, I try to pick it up because as far as I'm concerned, they're just the best of the best. Uh, I love Dioware. I love my Hinderers. Uh, I love Strider, uh, but I just gravitate towards Medford. They kind of make what I love. Um, and there's so many knives. Um, for this knife, um, I had traded Bob, my uh, my Sergei Rogovets Rhino, which that was a tough trade because, well, it was tough in the sense that I really... Uh, it was hard to let the Rhino go, but it was nice in the sense that if Bob didn't go for it, I would have been fine taking the Rhino back. Um, but my want and love for another Prey Thai uh, exceeded my want and love for the Rhino. And uh, Bob is very happy with the Rhino, as he should be. Uh, I find them to be uh, of equal value. Um, so I'm, I'm, we're both happy. That's the definition of a good deal, where both people walk away happy. So... Um, and if he ever wants to visit his knife, he can send me the uh, Rhino. I'll visit with it and send it back. That was the deal we made. But I'm very, very happy with this knife. Um, and it's a great deal. So those are my thoughts. I just, I haven't reached out in a while. I haven't made any content. So just putting some stuff out there. Uh, I was going to make a piece on my mini knives, my small knives. But I realized I had just sent out just today my one Sam uh, to my buddy Chris, uh, Carco Chris. So when that comes back, um, I'll make a video. But I have a couple of of higher end, smaller knives that I never thought I would really uh, dig the way I do. And like I said, this knife is small, and I complained a little bit about the cost, but it's growing on me, and and I do see the value in a, a smaller knife that just fits right in the palm of your hand. You can. You almost don't even have to use the pocket clip. You could just put it in your pocket and um, and just carry it around. It's literally should almost have a, a freaking keychain attached to it. But I do like it, and it's extremely well made. It's it's just a miniature. What is it? A two thirds um, scale model of the larger um, uh, Praetorians. But I definitely. So now I have. I had never had a Praetorian before. Now I have four of them. 
Uh, but I'm I'm happy to say I, I love one more than the next. So just uh, just wanted to reach out. I hope you guys are all doing well, and uh, I will have some more content coming soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.